Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm praying you're having a blessed start to your day. Our devotion this morning comes from Proverbs, the 11th chapter, Proverbs chapter 11. And it says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Let's bow our heads, our Father God. We thank you for your many blessings, Lord. We thank you for now to see you another Friday morning. Now, Lord, as we open all your word, fill us with your Holy Spirit on this day so, so that we can in turn walk like you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Brothers and sisters, when I read this text, I, I, I can't help but think about the day and age that we're living in. And I had to look up, I had to look at what, what exactly is a, 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 a false balance. Well, as I was reading, they, they said uh, uh, one, one example is when you give equal weight to, do, to two different things, what they call both sidesism. And God is saying, listen, a false balance is the abomination to me. What does that mean? How, how, how is that an abomination? And how do we actually do that? Well, brothers and sisters, what God is saying here is when we go around giving the words of men the same weight as God's word, God says that's an abomination. And, and, and folks, we do it too often because we say, I know what the word says, but you know, life is like this in the day and age that we live in. Folks, God says, no, 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 no. My word is not on man's level. My word is not equal to man's word. My word is higher. And folks, we live in a day and age where we, we try to give everything the same weight. Well, that's true over here, but this is true too. So I see both sides. God is saying, no, 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 no. There is a just weight. And my words had better weigh higher in your life than man's words. My, my words had better, better weigh higher than your own thoughts. My words better weigh more than your circumstances. My words had better weigh more in your life than anything else. Why? Because my word, my law is above anything in this world. And folks, if we continue to try to lower the word of God, if we continue, to try to excuse us deviating from the word of God because, oh, we're living in 2021 and I have this going on and, and, and this is not so realistic anymore. Folks, God says when we do that, it is an abomination to him because it's a false balance. We are putting God's word on equal level to things of this world. God says, no, 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 no. A just weight is his delight. Meaning, at the end of the day, when God's word is weighed justly, I don't care what man says. I don't care where we live. I don't care what's going on. God says, would you weigh it justly? My word always has to weigh more. And folks, we do it, we do it in everything but life, but why do we try to excuse when God? Let's be honest. Your, you, you, your, the word of your boss carries more weight than your coworker. As, as, as a child, the words of your parents weigh more than somebody else. The day and age we live in, uh, with, 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 with law enforcement, though their their word weighs more than a regular citizen. And we don't have an issue with that too often. Then why, then why, then why? If we can, if we can do that with men, why do we always try to excuse the word of God? God says no. When you do that, 
What are you trying to minimize my word? Will you try to minimize my law? Will you try to excuse what I've called you to do? That is a false biobalance. It's an abomination to my eyes. You want to delight in God? Give his word just weight. That means it's above everything else. Because that's how the Lord is delighted by us. Our Father God, Lord, forgive us for minimizing your word. Forgive us for putting your word on the same level as things of this world, Lord. Forgive us for ignoring your call. And God, I ask that we will delight in you, that you will delight in us. And that starts by weighing your words justly, Lord. That means that, Lord, your, your voice has to weigh more than any other voice in my life. Father God, help us to stop minimizing and ignoring and behaving like your word are just suggestions. But Father God, help us to weigh your word justly. Give us the power to stay in your will. It gives us the power to heed everything your word says. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters.